the engineering in any airline or MRO. MRO is a maintenance repair organization. So there are two things which you have to be very clear. One is the airline which is operating the aircrafts, and the other is the MRO which are maintaining the aircrafts. So nowadays the concept has come of building an MROs where the airline will offer their aircrafts for doing the engineering services. No airline would like to have an MRO along with them, the complete setup. So they will like to outsource that. So in Air India also, earlier it was a one airline. Now they are divided into subsidiary companies. Uh, in aviation, uh, the engineering concept is a little different. Here you have to qualify uh, yourself with the DGC exams to obtain a license. That is called the certifying engineer who certifies the aircraft after every transit. He signs the aircraft for its airworthiness. There is a regulatory authority called DGCA, Director General of Civil Aviation, who is monitoring all those things. So the engineer who, is, who wants to certify the aircraft has to get qualified by passing certain exams. Same thing like pilots. You have to appear for certain exams and get qualified and get the license. That is one field. The other field is the supports which engineers are getting from the back office. That is another uh, set of engineers. Now what these support engineers do is, they prepare the maintenance action, what is required to be performed by that engineer on the field. So a package is made, the engineer goes through this package and does the work what has been told in that package. So somebody from the back office is working on those areas, what has to be done. The back office also takes care of all the airworthiness requirement to keep the aircraft airworthy. For getting the certifying engineer, you have to be 10 plus 2 and you have to qualify the DGC exams. Back office, you need a graduate engineer, minimum. Now, graduate engineers, you can be mechanical, you can be electrical, you can be electronics, telecommunication, you can be aeronautical. In airlines, we don't design the aircrafts. We only maintain the aircrafts. But if you have some craze for designing the aircraft, in the systems or the body, the structures, then airline is not the area where you are supposed to work. We only do the maintenance part. And for maintenance also, there are recommended manuals of Boeing and Airbus. Everything is given in that. You have to follow the manuals and do the maintenance. There is no deviation from the approved manuals. Yeah, 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 everything, everywhere it's same. There you have to have an FA license or EASA license if you are working in European countries or US they follow FA. Indian DGC is following Indian DGC license. License is must. The only thing is in some of the countries they call this a license uh, mechanics or license technician. The person he will work also and he will certify also. But in India we have two different things. The mechanics are different who are physically working. The engineer is supervising their work and is certifying. That is the thing.